Okay. Hello. Um, today I filmed this cute little rusty kind of gold red half cut crease look with a kind of neutrally glossy lip and lots and lots of bronzy and highlightiness. So if you want to see how I created this then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some foundation and I'm going to apply it all over my face. The foundations I've used because I've started to get rid of my fake tan a bit, so I'm getting closer to my natural colour. I've mixed a bit of the Becca Ultimate Complexions Cream in Shell with my usual um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC20 just to get a bit of a paler colour without losing the coverage because they're both quite full coverage foundations. And I'm just going to take my um, Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm going to buff this all over my face. Um, yeah, I think that's about right. Just hope I don't run out halfway through doing my face. Okay, so I take some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is just a shade transparent. And I take a powder brush and pretty much just put this all over my face, cake it on. Next, um, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ash Brown and a Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Brush. Start on the top line and go in again and the brush and I do this other line and then I do the bottom line and then I just go in and fill in all this gap and do the little tail as well And just brush this bit out too. Fill it in a bit. Mum's coming upstairs. And basically it just went in with the brow line brush around them with concealer and then took a concealing buffing ooh, concealer buffing brush and buffed it out a bit so there was no harsh line or anything. And now it's time for eyeshadows. The palettes I'm going to be taking are the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette, one of my faves, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. Let me zoom in, actually. The first thing I'm going to do is take the concealer buffer brush, and I'm going to go in with the lighter shade in the palette on the concealer buff brush. Just pack this on. I'm going to go in with the, oh, this is such a fiddly job, the shade Transition in the Holy Grail palette and just pack that on and blendy blendy all over. Oh. Uh, have you got any rubbish for the bin? Don't think so. No? No. no. What bin is it? Black. No. I'm just going to go and do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to go in with... A 228 crease brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade are you kidding me 
just concentrate primarily on the crease. Buff that in, all nice. And it's gonna do the same on the other side. And then back in with this one. I'm gonna go in with this defined crease brush. Excuse my hands, I've got a bit of makeup on them. And I'm going to take the shade Railgar from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm bringing it in just for the crease, but and then you do the same on the other side. It's looking a bit crazy at the moment, but trust me, it will all come together. And again, getting a the crease brush that we used before and just blending this all out. Ooh, do you know what? I've got a bit of eyeshadow here. Next thing that I'm going to do is take some of the Becca Ultimate Complexion Cream in the shade Shell, which is the really light one. I'm going to use this to create a half cut crease. I'm going to take the 226 smudger brush from Zoeva, you guessed it, and I'm going to get a bit of product onto one side of this brush, and then I'm just going to get a mirror and I'm going to look like this. And I'm just gonna start packing this on and creating a nice smooth cut out crease. And then do the same on the other side and try and keep this eye open a bit. Ooh. And try and make them as even as possible. What am I doing? Come sa. I'm gonna take the concealer buffer brush again and I'm gonna go in again with tempera and I'm just gonna like pat it on to where we've created this so it dries it a bit okay so the next step is to take any kind of setting spray or priming spray or anything like that and the domey shaped flat brush you're just gonna spray this Tap it onto the back of your hand and then I'm going to go in with Primavera which is this gold shade that I'm using and then pat it onto the eyelid. So that's done and then we can take, which brush was that? The, I'm going to take the soft definer, the 227, the biggest brush and I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance mm. palette, and I'm gonna pack this where the lines meet. The defined crease brush with some of Real Girl, and I'm really gonna pack this in here. And bring it out. And I'm gonna get some on the lower lash line as well. Okay, 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 and then taking the brush that we used with the foundation to cut out the crease, I'm gonna get a teeny tiny bit of real gut on it and really carefully just go along. And what I do is I take the concealer buffer brush and any product that's left on my little powder thing, I just use this to sort of even up the wing a bit. It's not a wing, it's just a bit of eyeshadow. Yeah, it goes under the eye. I'm just going to make sure it's all blended to the high heavens. And last step is to take the brush that you had the gold on and just make sure that you've got a lot of gold on the inner corner and the lower lash line meeting the yeah, you can see a bit there. But this one's pretty. And I can live with little mistakes. It's only a tiny mistake. I'm not after perfection. So then I'm going to take some mascara, any mascara. I'm using lashes, so 
I'm not too worried about how the mascara looks. <laughs> and then for lashes, I'm going to take my Ardell 113 Wispies. These ones are pretty minging. It's the last time I'm going to use them, I think. They just look like this. Okay. Some Duo Lash Glue and just apply this along the lash line. I'm going to take my Becca Eponema Sunset and, oh snip, a flatly kind of severely damaged brush. And I'm just going to go in along this line here, up here, and circling motions and dabby motions as well. Yeah, just make sure that's all nice. Not too crazy. I go in with a revolution of rock on world it's this it's really nice it's got gold bits in it it's got bronze bits in it it's really difficult to open and just an angled brush and then i will just go a bit higher up than where i did before just to get some nice goldiness i really need to get this crap off my chin though Take the lash and I'm just going to look into the mirror and pop it on as close to the lash line as I can. It doesn't matter if it's not on properly. I never put it on properly to start with. Make sure there's no glue on it as well. The tweezers, I mean. And then I just get my tweezers and... Put the lash on and just squeeze it so it's super close. I'm gonna go back in with my tweezers and just really squeeze. I think that's gonna have to do. And then go back in with the brush that they had the bronzer on and just go ham. Go ham. gonna go in with the highlighter so for highlighter I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty winter highlighter palette it is winter but this is quite a summery look so I'm gonna take this contour brush because I don't listen to the rules and I'm gonna go in with Northern Lights which is a greeny yellowy shade and I'm just going to pack this on as much as I possibly can because we all need a bit of shimmer in our lives. Take this sexy motherfucker lip gloss, I think it is, from Soap and Glory. I'm just going to put this on and put that on and just use my tweezers to... It's fine. Okay, and then the last step is to go in with a liquid liner and just do my little dots. Oh my god. And then we have it. That is the finished look. Only took about four hours, but hey.